Welcome to the Rooted Kids um, devotional for today. I am Lisa Thomas. I am the Children's Director at First Baptist Church in Savoy. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So just as a reminder, kids, this the main verse that we've been looking at is that now faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So let's get today's, let's look at today's lesson. All right. All right, look here, you know, I just got done working out at my desk. You know, I have a I have a weight here. It's kind of heavy, you know, but man, you know, think about it. We lift weights to, to get strong. But you know what? I'm going to put this down because it's a little heavy and I'm going to bring it out later here in a second. So with that, when we look at this, today we're going to talk about um, that God is the God of impossible, okay? We, we, you may have heard that before, but God is the God of impossible. And what happens is, is that through faith, we can ask God for some big things, okay? So we're going to look at an example of someone in the Bible who had really big faith. So let's go with this. The verse that we're looking at today is found in Matthew um, chapter 8, verses 5 through 13. This is the faith of the centurion. So let's go this. You can either read along with what's on the screen or you can listen. So it says this. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed and suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. But just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers underneath me. I tell this one go and he goes and that one come and he comes. I say to my servant do, do, do this and he does it. When Jesus heard this he was amazed and said to those following him. Truly I tell you I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of kingdom will be thrown out outside into the darkness where they were weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, go and let it be done just as you believed it would. And the servant was healed at that moment. Okay. The thing that I want us to focus on in that verse is up here where it says, uh, Lord, I am not worthy of you to come under my roof, but simply or but only say the word. Okay. Let me give you some context here. All right. In this point, okay, or with Jesus, many people were coming to him, wanting him to lay hands on him or on them to heal them. All right. But what happens is, is that the centurion is he does for whatever reason, because he says he's a man under authority and he has people underneath him. He is OK with Christ not coming to his house, but he recognizes Christ's authority in this verse, in this chapter or in this section of scripture. And what he does is that he just says, Christ, I know that you could just speak the words and my servant will be healed. All right. Christ or Jesus recognized that as a great example of big faith. Okay. Because he didn't need Jesus to actually go and touch him. He just said, you know what, Christ, if you, or Jesus, if you say this right now, my, my servant will be healed. And guess what? Christ says at the very end. Go, let it be done just as you believed it would be done. And the man's servant was healed. So what we do and how this ties back into this is we have to have strong faith. All right. That is what's going to help us to ask God for those impossible things. Impossible things such as if someone is bullying you at school. God, you know, I ask you help me with this. And, or, you know, if you're at praying for one of your friends to be saved or um, for your parents or something, don't be afraid to ask God. So how does our weight come back into this? Okay. You remember my big heavy weight that I had at the beginning, you know, that I'm using to, to lift some weights. I can go over my head. Okay. We lift weights because it helps us to get strong. You want to know what helps us get strong and to have strong faith? is reading the Bible and praying, 
both of those things help us to have strong faith. So let me go ahead. I'm going to wrap this up by praying for you. I say, Father God, I come to you in Jesus' name, and I pray for the kiddos out there, Lord God, who are watching this video, that, Lord God, you help them to ask you for the big things, that you give them the courage to ask you for the big things, to ask you for the impossible. Father God, I pray that you just lead and guide them, Lord God, as well as you help their faith to grow when they read your word and when they pray. We ask this in your son's name, we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you for listening, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time.